833 prisoners who are set to be freed from the various prisons across the country are petty offenders who are about to complete their prison sentences. No capital offenders will benefit from this arrangement, and Uganda Prison Services spokesperson Frank Baine says the beneficiaries of this presidential pardon are mostly pregnant women, breastfeeding mothers, the sick and the old people. The president has signed an instrument confirming that those people should be pardoned as a way of decongesting prisons and in response to mitigating the, the, the effects of COVID-19. The Uganda Prison Services had earlier submitted a list of 1,500 prisoners to the Prerogative Committee who also censored it before presenting it to the Attorney General. The Attorney General forwarded the list to the President. Now Baine says the same criteria will be followed before the pardoned inmates finally get their freedom. Like we submitted the Prerogative of Mercy Committee, the Prerogative of Mercy Committee through the Attorney General submitted to the President, now the President has endorsed and, and has, returned the, has sent the instrument to the Attorney General. Now the Attorney General is going to break it down and send to us the breakdown of how we are supposed to go about that pardon. It also comes in the wake of a prisoner's petition to the parliament, challenging the measures taken in the prisons to fight the outbreak of COVID-19. Represented by Kampala lawyer Nicholas Opio, the inmates expressed concern that government has not done enough to mitigate the risk of a coronavirus outbreak in the congested prisons across the country. Meanwhile, the police say it is holding over 1,000 people for flouting the presidential directives. We are not going to allow this behavior to continue. Out of those ones, we've given Kampala Metropolitan the task to thoroughly screen and find out those ones who are habitual criminals, those ones who are repeatedly violating or flouting the guidelines because we have those records every other time and ensure that those ones who are notorious, found with drugs, sharp objects and weapons are screened out and taken to court. In Somalia, Uganda's Africa Union military contingent in the country has so far intercepted two Ashabab attacks since Ramadan started. Two vehicles bearing explosives attempted to attack a position at Barawe Airport. Good enough and typical of UPDF soldiers, they were alert and within their position of uh, ambushes early in the morning, they were able to destroy these two vehicles that were carrying very dangerous explosives. Some buzzer NTV tonight.